What's up guys, this is 360 Fitness and earlier today I posted that I changed my protein powder to isolate and I like to tell you why. If you are following a um, high protein diet or if you're counting your macros, you might consider taking the isolate protein instead of the standard one and the reason for that is the standard one it has more carbs and it has more fat which is not the problem itself but the thing is when we eat the isolate one it's isolated with more protein less fat less carbohydrates and that means that you can eat more why can you eat more because if you're counting your macros for example that means that you need to reach your um daily target for for protein, uh, fats, and carbs, right? When you consume a protein powder that has less carbs and it has less fat, that means that you can take these nutrients out of your food. So this is great because you are actually um, having all the benefits from the protein powder uh, to supplement the amount of protein that you need to eat per day, uh, but you're not putting so much on carbs and fat and maybe there's just a little bit of change that you can put a little bit more fat, a little bit more carbs. And if you're counting macros, you know what I mean? It does make the difference. Even if you're not counting macros, that's the same thing if you're following a high protein uh, diet because uh, you're gonna have more protein from this and a little bit more carbs and fat than you have from this. I'm gonna show you as a comparison. So this one for every 100 grams of um, powder, you have four grams of, of fat. And this one, for every 100 grams of powder, you have one gram of, of fat, so 1.4 grams of fat. On this one, you have 6.2 grams of carbs for every gra uh, 100 grams of powder. Against this one, you have 4.5 grams of carbs for every 100 grams of powder. So, and let's compare proteins as well. So on the standard one, we have 75 grams of uh, protein for every 100. And on this one, we have 83 grams of protein for every 100. So in summary, this one will give you protein, carbs, and fat, but this one will be more isolated with more protein, less carbs, and less fat. Does this mean this is better? No, it doesn't mean it, it, is, it is better. Uh, it all depends on your needs, on your goals, on the phase you are on the diet. This is the one I'll be consuming. Um, it might be that when I'm eating too much, when I'm bulking, when I need to have a lot of nutrients, it might be useful to take uh, a little bit more carbs, a little bit more fat, uh, from the default one. So everything depends uh, Also, what you prefer to eat. So nothing is a generic rule uh, Everything can be individualized. So I hope you enjoy these tips and you can apply it for you and for your needs And you already know if you need more information just keep following and I'll teach you much more about it Including macros. You're gonna see a lot of content. So if you don't know what macros means just keep following and you're going to have all the information you need.